right. Four days left for semi-finals. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hey, Yatsuki. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Amazing, 19 months. That's crazy. It is crazy. Hey, Rooney. How's it going? Macaroni. <laughs> Spectre, what's up? Um, how about some fantasy topics? I'm still on the, the old fantasy train. Hey, Fuchsia. You're gonna hear my daughter in the background. Yet another morning of her. On the other side of the door screaming. I'm okay, Rooney. How are you? A Bruno Romanos is back. Fantastic. One of the original gangsters. First topic is a volcanic glass. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So I'm asking for fantasy topics. I feel, still feel like fantasy. Today I want to do more, less uh, lights only, and I will, I will sketch it out. I think kind of half line art. I think. I kind of feel like switching it up a little bit. A dirty damsel. <laughs> Pacobra, what is a orc beard? Or do you mean bard? No, J is is to the right. That's a weird slip if you slipped. <laughs> Spectre, unicorn vacuum cleaner. All right, all right. So you got volcanic glass, dirty damsel, orc bard, unicorn vacuum cleaner, elven queen. All right. There's a lot of weird topics today. Um, let's do the dice roll. If there's one more topic, that will take number six. Otherwise. Uh, if it's number six, I'll decide. Hey, Mel, how's it going? Two. Dirty damsel. All right. Dirty damsel. How's it going, Mel? So, Dirty Damsel. That made me think instantly about like a witch or a specter. And dirty part would be like a plague. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do try to do a, kind of a hybrid of um, sketching technique. Um, Hey Rollo, happy birthday. Because it's your birthday, I will serenade you while sketching uh, Dirty Damsel. Yamo Haleva, Yamo Haleva, Yamo Haleva, Uti Hundra Dior, Yaviska de Leva, Yaviska de Leva, Yaviska de Leva, Uti Hundra Dior. Tifalit Leva for Rollo Mancer. Hip hip, hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. 
There you go. Just for you. Birthday boy. And Rolo, yeah, indeed. Uh, I'll set that up for you after the stream. <laughs> they made. I hope you have a great one, Rolo. Hey, Epoch, how's it going? You know, uh, YouTube has, um, you can look at statistics, you know, on, on, uh, oh man, why am I messing this section up? Because I'm not thinking. Um, you can look at statistics on clips and uh, certain episodes get a lot more traffic, which is quite interesting to see and which makes me think, um, I'm always curious when you see statistics, and uh, I always think: is it due to the uh, like topic of, of of the stream, or is it just because of of the like of the day, just random chance of why um, um, why a, a episode gets more views? It's really hard to know. You know, like what parameters uh, is making an episode more more prone to views? It's really hard to know. Hey, Seth Scribble, how's it going? Welcome. Yeah, Carla Ortiz is great. She's a great artist. Um, so, with that that being said. On, on with YouTube statistics uh, can any one of you figure out uh, do you have any ideas rather on how we can do a sort of voting um, voting system somehow I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to figure out uh, how can we make um, how can we make it visible in 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 terms of I archiving abilities or archiving statistics, which is actually good, and which is actually just random. Pacobra, no, not for topics, um, for episodes in terms of how good they are. You know, if that makes sense. Because, like I said, I can. the only way I can gauge which episode is good and which episode you most likely would like to see more of because you are giving it more attention, right? There's more people watching the episode uh, after the fact is is through YouTube's uh, own algorithm, uh, like statistics page, right? Like, oh, you have 60 views instead of 40. You know, then that obviously becomes, could be that it's more interesting topic. But it could also mean that it's just one of those days where it happens to have a lot more traffic because reason X, Y, Z. Pacobra, yeah, exactly. That's also a problem. Like, how do you, how can you gauge what a good episode is? Um, is it due to the drawing I draw? Is it due to uh, uh, chat participation? Is it random chance that due to 
events that's happening online or time of day or I mean time of day no because it's all I stream always the same time but the date with a certain event ha or or you know there's so many things that could could play a part in in um, in what causes an episode to be have more traffic and they're the only like I said the only way I can gauge that is through YouTube statistics on on views and like how many <laughs> actually you can see how watch minutes uh, you know how many minutes they watch the episode and they never watch the full episode on average people skip a lot Hey, Captain Boss, how's it going? Hey, Miguel. What's up? So, I assume there is a degree of interest in topic. But topic, the drawing topic, I doubt is, is the draw. Uh, is the draw on the, on the on YouTube, you know, because I don't really write the what I am drawing, but the fact that people are skipping means they are looking, they're jumping ahead, um, which means that they don't watch the episode from start to finish, which is. Which makes me think they're only looking for the end result. Spectre. Yeah. Well, I doubt that Monday's stream on YouTube have more views than average. Um, but it did create a lot of uh, traffic on on um, Discord, which is great. So all I'm all I'm saying is that I wonder if we could implement. Let's say one thought I had. One thought I had was: What if we have like a counter for the nightbot? So after each after each episode, you vote between one and ten if it's good, and you type like make a com I make a command like apostrophe vote, and then you wrote, write your number if you think it's good or not. So then you can get like oh this had an average of five, this this had an average of ten. Cobra, I'm gonna get a lot of sevens. <laughs> it's, all, it's, okay. it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I think that's also a, a big problem. Is. It's like how are you? How can I quantify, and b build on the stream, to give you guys more of what's interesting it's almost to me in my mind what makes the stream fun is the randomness of it and uh, and the participation you know, hanging out with the chat you know with you fantastic peoples only <laughs> tens a lot yeah <laughs> No, I mean, I don't mean um, Fuxia, well top uh, sandwich. Yeah. No, Ritas, what I mean is that uh, YouTube statistics is the only way I can gauge. Um, you know, like if I go back two weeks and I want to see which episode did best, you know, to try to figure out uh, what I could do more of or what people actually want to see and if, if an episode on YouTube does well you would like to know 
why it does well. You know, why are people watching this more than the day before? In order to, in order to make, uh, you know, a better product. So all I'm saying is just. I'm bringing up YouTube because that's the only way I can gauge at the moment. I don't necessarily mean implement something for YouTube. I'm just meaning that the only way I can now understand if an episode of Warm Up did well or not is through YouTube. And it's not necessarily as well the best way to gauge um, the quality of an episode because a lot of a lot of you i assume are not on youtube you don't watch the playback on youtube because you're here already right so you have a different uh like you value the stream differently because you don't you can't skip for what right so you sit here and you, you participate while on youtube statistically people are, are skipping so that the, already there, there's a discrepancy in, in how you can gauge the quality of it. Recovery <laughs> topless. Yeah, let me just unbutton here. Hey, Greya, how's it going? Uh, Spectre, um, you made an online poll? Sure. To everyone else who wants to share a link you can share links in this uh, stream as long as it's safe for work links uh, you don't want to um, if someone is at work and you don't want to compromise their uh, their job by having some you know stupid meme or whatever <laughs> slowly, slowly. Yeah, something like that, um, Spectre. I was thinking, you know, something like that. But or or more simple, you just type it in the um, uh, chat. And the reason why I wanted to make it simpler in the chat is. Um, um, to gather the data because that poll won't say I have to manually make a new poll every day and if you have a bot command and some sort of script you can probably make it so that it saves the data per day per stream Yeah, I think so too, that they are looking for answers more than anything. That is very true. Miguel, yeah, absolutely. That's also true. Like, um, YouTube is way more passive, absolutely. And, and like I said, you can see that because there's a lot of skipping on YouTube. They wanna, they wanna get a quick fix, right? They wanna, just five minutes probably on average is what they they, they have, uh, attention span on YouTube. Well, here it's a full thirty minutes, you know, which is great, which is which is absolutely, I absolutely appreciate. And I'm not saying I want the answer to YouTube or what I should do to, up YouTube stats. Again. All I'm saying is that YouTube is the only place where I can really get statistics. I mean, I can get it on Twitch as well, but it doesn't really... The algorithm that that I can only gauge with is, is the statistics of view count and view minutes and view amount of people viewing. 
not so much if the episode is actually good. That's my point, right? So it's not about me trying to up my YouTube uh, watch time or anything like that. It's just to, just to try to figure out a way to how you guys can actually influence uh, by having your voice being heard in terms of uh, you voting or, or some other means of saying this is, was a good episode, I liked it. Uh, <clears throat> you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, those kind of topics. Crosshatch. I think it's an open, open, open um, anal um, interpretation. I chose to interpret the topic as plague. So Dirty Damsel is like a, a plague specter. April hey, Forty, what's up? Pacobra. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. YouTube people, they they know half an hour is too long. There's a magic limit of twenty, I think. Pacobra. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's I mean that's what I'm asking. Miguel, more time per stream. Um, yeah, I think if I would do more t uh, time on the stream, the the setup would be different, right? It would be more of a It would be a completely different type of stream. Now the whole setup is half an hour, and I mean maybe that only has only <laughs> it has only has only uh, you know it's uh, it has only a certain uh, range of legs. Maybe th this is as 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 interesting as it could get based on the the limitations of the setup, you know. But nevertheless, I mean I'm I'm not talking about that. I'm just I'm just thinking out loud that I would like to have some sort of, um, you know, for you guys to be able to say, oh, I like this episode. This episode was good versus uh, this didn't interest me at all. And in return, you know, if a lot, if a lot of people saying that, let's say, you know, hypothetically, yesterday's stream was boring. I can look at that and go, oh, I wonder why so many people voted that it was boring. You know, was it because I had a bad day? Was it because the topic was shit? Was it, uh, I'm not saying it is, I'm just, I'm just hypotheticals here, right? Um, and in that way, we can mold, I can, I can understand what's what people want more clearer. I mean, in in other way, I, I could just keep on going and doing what I want to do. But that's also, you know. Uh, Cross touch. I did when I had thousand followers. I did a, I did a sketchbook tour. But it was uh, with the shitty, the shitty webcam. I don't listen to anything at the moment on the headphones. Um, I just didn't want to unhook the mic and put it here. Uh, I usually do that, um, but today I just didn't. I couldn't be bothered. Ooh, 
ruining. I'd love to hear more thinking behind your process with every sketch. Sure, I get that, Rooney. Uh, I feel also, in that sense, that it might be a little bit repetitive because I've been doing this for five years and uh, me talking about my process, um, people, you know, oh, you really? You are really uh, laying down the, the pose? Oh, I had no idea, like you've done all other four years. <laughs> you know, me mentioning that might get boring real fast. Um, so in that sense, I, I'm also trying not to be... I'm trying to give some sort of variety to what I'm talking about, because there's a, I could easily just talk you through my process, but that would mean every day it would be the same except it would have variation because you know the the topic would be different which means i would tackle the problem differently but if i would just talk about my steps every day it would just be the same wouldn't it uh ritas yeah that's what was what was what i was thinking you know if you could come up i could could con, come up with some sort of oh please rate today's episode and you could just quickly type you know like uh, apostrophe vote f and and a number and it would it would l allocate the um, collect the data Hey, the Akachan, how's it going? Gria, when I ask about the direction, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's one way of making an episode interesting. Absolutely. Um, but again, um, if there is a way to be able to quantify that so that like look back or like let's say on a month old episode if i would have tracked all the data if i would look back at last month's episodes and if if there's three episodes that did dramatically well and you guys would have voted or we would have implemented some sort of gauge mechanic of the quality um then i could i could look back in back a month and go oh okay they they seem to like this right then i could i would know that okay so they like me talking about process they like uh they enjoy audience participation and they seem to enjoy it when i'm not in a grumpy mood <laughs> Which means then I, I could I could start uh, thinking about means and ways of doing that. Uh, at the moment, for me to understand that, I can only look at view count on statistics. Uh, I can look, watch Twitch as well, and they also run statistics. Uh, but what I mean is that it doesn't communicate actually what you think is good uh, it actually just means a lot of people watched it which doesn't necessarily mean it's good you know maybe that day i had a raid or um, people were home on um, day after a bank holiday or you know the statistics on 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 analytics they don't communicate that right they they just communicate x amount of people viewed x amount of time and that's good to get that information but it's also a little bit anonymous in that sense all i'm saying is it would be cool to figure out a way to um 
figure out a way to be able to know what you you all like more or maybe we don't need to do more maybe we just need to do more of the same and and that's a good thing maybe that's that's all that needs to do happen Seth Scribbles, thoughts on what we're work talking about, working on life, anything, right, cool. Can you, Pacobra, if I can smile? My best smile. Seth, oh, that's cool that you like. Yeah, I think, I mean, I do try to engage, right? Uh, and yeah, my drawings are are penalized because of it. Because you know, I'm not in the zone, and I'm not quietly painting. And the drawings are is far from my capabilities of how 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 far I can finish a painting. Uh, obviously, because I'm reading chat and talking to you guys and all these things. And obviously, rate of progress in an image. Is uh, heavily dedu deduced, deducted, deducted um, due to to due to the fact that you know I can't sit in the zone. <laughs> but uh, luckily, I can I can still manage to produce something in that flow. Gria, true. True, but how many of you would fill out the Google form a after every stream? None of you would. It would fall flat. Maybe you would be doing it for a week, and then uh, you would uh, it would trickle out. You know, you wouldn't you wouldn't participate in in filling out the Google form every day. I know myself, and I wouldn't. I would go like. <laughs> So I, all I'm thinking there has to be something super easy that you there's zero effort. You can just go rate five, rate one, and you can just type it in. Bruno Romanos, that's that's cool. Thank you. Typical, if I'm Swedish, indeed I am. Indeed I am. I Norden vill jag leva, i Norden vill jag dö. På någon gång, någon tid. That's good, 2000 word essay. Yeah, exactly, that wouldn't, wouldn't happen. Yeah. For Cobra, yeah, you'd, you'd do it for a week, like I said. Uh, cross such how I fight my tendency to or my my w urge to zoom um, why would I need to zoom you can't zoom on paper and the only reason why you need to be able to zoom is um, fidelity and at the moment I do I am not doing anything that requires fidelity I can reach a certain fidelity by not zooming and uh, by just working at a zoomed out state. It's the same with the pen and paper. You don't need to zoom in to be able to do a certain degree of fidelity. And if you want higher fidelity on, on traditional media, you go bigger, right? Then you get more room to, to fiddle. Uh, so in reverse, you know, but you, you wouldn't need a A3 format to sketch. You would just need a A4 or a half A4. Well, time is up. All right. My cat wants to come into my office. I keep scratching the door and meowing. Stupid cat.
Kalle Janka, Kalle Janka. <laughs> Fuchsia, yeah, that's very true, that's very true. Tivago, you notice my name? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a Nordic name, so. Yes, Aileen, I do have a cat. I can show her on the stream uh, someday. I think my daughter is potentially sleeping at the moment, so I don't want to go out. Zeelin, I have a big old fluffy cat. Not old, actually. Five years? Six years? I'll read into that. Google Form integration. That's pretty cool. I'll read it. I'll read, I'll read that. Thank you. Hey, Yannis, how's it going? Good morning. Good evening. You're a massive cat lover? Oh, my cat is good. I've, I've taught it many tricks. I can talk about the tricks I've taught it when I show her. I taught her to eat spiders on command because my wife hates spiders. I've taught her to, if you tap the ground and point, she comes. Actually, my daughter isn't sleeping. Let me get the cat. There we go. There was the Lady Sansa. If I would have more time, um, I would rewrite completely. Yeah, she's a good cat. She can do tricks. Anyways, let's find someone to raid. And. Uh, Pass the the baton to. Um, the three D guy yesterday was kind of interesting, but also it doesn't it didn't seem to uh, participate with the chat. Um, So let's raid someone who's drawing a dragon. If they are online. Maybe they're having is someone actually alive on Twitch or is my Twitch broken? No. Um, all right, she's alive, her, her or not. No. Nope. Why is it? Why are you like this, Twitch? All right. Uh, here's a tip: if you have a nickname on Twitch don't have it like a full sentence long it's ridiculous every time i raid this guy i have to like go to, to go to school All right.
right. Have a great day, everyone. Good night. Make sure that part of our old. See you tomorrow morning. Thanks for the topic. Thanks for the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, gonna do the outro, then take you to the stream to Colorphobia. So have a great one. See you tomorrow.